Uh, today we are going to perform differentiator circuit using 741 IC that is operation amplifier. So we can see from this circuit uh, the capacitor is to be connected at pin number 2 like this through which we can provide the input input signal and a feedback register this is feedback register which is, has to be connected from pin number 2 to pin number 6 the pin number 3 that is the non inverting pin has to be grounded here and we have to provide the power supply through pin number 7 and pin number 4 that is uh, plus 12 volt for at pin number 7 and minus 12 volt and pin, at pin number 6 the output will be differentiation of the input so output is given by V0 is equal to minus RT dVi by dt ok so first of all we check the power supply so now you can check the power supply this is this is 12 volt for pin number pin number 7 and this is minus 12 volt we can see it from here also this is minus 12 volt at pin number for pin number uh, 4 so we have to connect this capacitor according to the circuit diagram we have to connect this capacitor at pin number 2 through which we can provide the input so this is pin number 2 so we can connect it and we will give the input signal from this point now the resistor has to be connected at pin number 2 to pin number 6 so this is the 10 kilo ohm resistor I have taken so this is pin number 2 to pin number 6 this is pin number 6 Now we will connect the power supply, so this is plus 12 volt, will be connected at pin number 7, this is pin number 7, this is uh, this is common ground point, so this has to be connected some separate, on some separate point, I am connecting here, at which all the ground of the circuit will be connected here, this is, this is, uh, this is minus 12 volt, so this should be connected at pin number 4, this is pin number 4. Now pin number uh, 3 has to be grounded, so we can ground it, okay. So uh, we have to uh, we have to uh, provide the input signal for this signal generator. So we are providing this input signal from the signal generator at pin number uh, at pin number through capacitor only. This is capacitor through which we can keep the input. Okay. Pin number three has to be grounded. So this is pin number three. The non-inverting input of the operation amplifier has to be grounded. So this is pin number three. So we have to ground at some uh, some 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 common ground point. So this is common ground point. This we have connected to common ground point. Now we had to uh, check the input what we have provided to the operation amplifier. So this through uh, channel one, channel number one, from channel number one of the CRA we can check the input signal of the signal generator. Right. So this is uh, the input point. So we can connect it, which we can check. Right, this one. And obviously we have to check the output. So we can check output from this channel number two of the CRA. So this is, uh, this has to be taken from pin number 6. So this is pin number 6, that is register pin, register point. So from this we can check the output. Now obviously we have to grind all the common points. So this is the common point of all the CR1 signal generator that has to be grounded. So when we can ground it, this is the two CR probe and one signal generator. We have to ground it. It's all the ground terminal of the CR probe and signal generator has to be grounded. So this we can ground it. And this is at some separate point we have made here. Okay. So now we can check the output. So for which we have to switch on the CRO. Now we'll switch on the CRO. The voltage we have to adjust. So this is input signal. This is input signal. Sinusoidal signal we have provided. And this is output signal. The upper one. Upper one is the output signal. Now you can see the input is sinusoidal. Output is also sinusoidal. Now we can change the input also and check the output what is changing so now we can change the input so this is a square wave now we can change the input to from sinusoidal to a square wave. so this is a square wave now this is square wave and we can check the output so for a square wave you can see the output is spikes at uh, discontinuity so this is a uh, discontinuity at you can see at this continuity point the output is a spike so this is spike this one is spike this one is spike this one is spikes we can again change it uh, the waveform and again check it change uh, check it the uh, check the output right so now we are uh, going to provide the input as ramp input 
so we know the differentiation of ramp is some some uh, some constant value so we can see this is the ramp signal some triangle kind of way so the differentiation of this uh, of this this will be a constant signal so this will be providing a, a square wave so hence this is acting as a, a differentiator